Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. That's right, it's Friday. It's Female Friday. And on this day, I like to do female artists, past, present, or future on the channel. Now, this uh, one that I'm going to do, I might only get one done. I was in a lot of pain. I had to take my medication and wait for it to kick in. And now it's like 1030. And I have to get up at 830 in the morning. And I haven't been sleeping well. So, uh, this song is, I think, a a female Friday, but you might go like, well, there's Steven, there's guys in the group. No shit, Jet. No shit. Yeah, but nobody looked at the guys. I didn't even know there were guys until, because uh, I don't think I ever saw one of their videos, because when this song came out, it was the early 90s, and I did not have cable TV. So the song is All That She Wants uh, from Ace of Bass, and this song came out in 1993. 1993, I was not living on campus. I had just moved off of campus, I think in 91, 92, and I was moving up north and I really didn't have a lot of things to my name. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. So that's why I know I didn't have cable at the time and I probably, I didn't see the video when it first came out. So at first, I I, kind, I liked the way the song sounded, but I never liked the subject matter. And, you know, I never really listened to the lyrics. I just, you know, all that she wants is another baby. And I almost put it in the category of hearts. All I want to do is make love to you. Because in the end of, in, end of that, you know, she had a one night a stand and she ended up getting pregnant and then seeing the guy years later. Uh, so I kind of put it on that, even though I liked the song, I liked the heart song I love heart for you know but I uh, always hated the fact that I liked that song because of the subject matter but until this very moment as I was loading up a clip to put in front of the video and I was gonna put raising Arizona where she's like I'm barren because you know she wanted a baby I come to find out that this song has nothing to do with the chick having a baby get the fuck out and I'll get to that. Uh, what it says is that all that she wants is a reggae pop. I never considered this song reggae, but I, I guess you could. A uh, song that describes a sexually promiscuous woman with the word baby being synonymous with boyfriend. Steven's so stupid. I didn't know. Uh, again, I thought it was about some chick that wanted to have a baby. So um, let's take a look at what this song did on the charts. And if you didn't know, this is by uh, uh, Ace of Base is is from Sweden. Um, they're part of that uh, original after um, after ABBA, but the next wave of, in the '90s where there was the Swedish. Uh, studio that was cranking out all these hits for people like uh, you know uh, Britney Spears and um, Backstreet and uh, you know other people there was a lot of them there's a documentary on Netflix about that whole thing and I watched it and I was like damn they, they really did put out a lot of hits um, in, in this particular studio so they come out of that that group so let's take a look and Balama, it went to number one in Australia, number one in Austria, number one in Belgium, number one in the Canada Top Singles, number one in the Canada Dance, number one in Denmark, number two in the European Hot 100, number 12 on the European Dance Radio, number four in Finland, two in France, one in Germany, one in Greece, one in Iceland, two in Ireland, one in Italy, four in the Netherlands Dutch Top 40, three on the Netherlands Single Top 100, three in New Zealand, two in Norway, six in Portugal, one one in Spain, three in Sweden. How's it go three in their own country? But three in Sweden, one in Switzerland, one in the UK, 28 on the UK club charts, 
number two on the Billboard Hot 100, number 22 on the Bill, uh, U.S. Adult Contemporary, 17 on the U.S. Alternative Airplay, number one on the U.S. Mainstream Top 40, four on the U.S. Rhythmic, three on the U.S. Cashbox, and two, three in Zimbabwe. So this song was a beast. It was a beast, and this is off of their first album, which was called The Sign. Now, it was originally released in Scandinavia in um, 1992 is when it was originally released there, but it, then it was released everywhere else in 1993. So, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm trying to do at least 10 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is Ace of Base and All That She Wants. Okay, see, I tried to be nice. Let me put this a different way, because you're not really getting it right now. If you call me a name, if you throw something at me ever again, if I see you talking to Harlan, yelling at Harlan, having anything at all to do with Harlan, I will find all of your boyfriends and I will fuck them stupid. You know, it's weird. I hear the reggae that they're alluding to, but the, to me, the only thing that makes this reggae is that dent, 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 
content. That part of the song, the keyboards doing that kind of that kind of song uh, sound. But uh, otherwise, to me, I don't necessarily. I, I can't consider this reggae. No self-respecting person of color would consider this reggae. Um, it just isn't. It's almost like you know. You listen to UB40 and you know they have a reggae sound. Um, but, you know, I don't know how many people in Jamaica actually will act, play UB40, you know, because of how bastardized it is. Now, granted, UB40 was extremely popular in the early 80s, uh, but, you know, it is what it is. You have a bunch of, you have a white lead singer, you have a white uh, guy doing the harmony, uh, everybody of color is in the background, and it just, uh, it just, you know, when you're, when you're, uh, when also all, almost all of your catalog are covers of other songs. Everybody had the Labor of Love or Labor of Love 2 album back in the 80s. It's almost like having Bob Marley's Legend. You know, you, everybody just had it, but it is what it is. But, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good catchy song, uh, especially in the 90s when, you know, dance certain dance uh, songs became really, really popular, like the, the house music and, and the, the asset house and, and, and things of that nature. When they became popular, um, it was just good to be out there and sweating on the dance floor. I mean, I think at the time I would have been sweating out my Jerry Curl. Yeah, they <laughs> Back in the day when I had hair, but you know, <sighs> Some, some of those were good times. Some of those were good times. So, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.